Namaste. Welcome to this yoga session where we are going to perform some dynamic yoga asana which is primarily focused on the Manipur Chakra. Manipur Chakra is the energy center which brings vibrance and vitality within our body. So let's get into the practice. Bring yourself in a meditation posture with a joyful face, hands resting on top of your knees, eyes closed. And for a moment, just explore what's going on within yourself. Bring your awareness to your abdominal space. And within your abdominal space, visualize a ball of fire radiating luminosity and heat. And the more you connect with this ball of fire placed at your abdominal space, you are experiencing an increase in vibrance, health, lightness within your entire physical dimension. Being aware of your Manipur Chakra, the abdominal space, Please take three deep breaths in and out. And now we are going to perform the first yoga asana, the double knee bending, for which please stretch your legs in front of your body. As you're coming into the base pose, your toes are pointed up, hands are resting on top of your thighs, back, straight and tall. Fold both the legs, bringing the knees close to the ribcage and then you place your hands underneath your thighs. If you're going to keep your eyes open, look in the front, fix your gaze at something which will work as your visual anchor. Pull the knees more close towards your ribcage, balancing the weight of the body only on your hips. You might need to lean a little backward. And as you inhale, stretch both the legs in the front. One. Hold it for a few seconds. Bring the knees back towards your ribcage. Stretch. Two. Two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven. Seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Stretch your legs in the front, hands resting on top of your thighs, inviting your awareness to your body, exploring how your body reacted, responded to the practice. Allow the breath to come back to the normal state. Now we are coming to the next posture, which is the butterfly. You have to bring both the feet together. Pull the heels as close as possible to your body, interlock the fingers, pull the heel further closer and try to keep your back upright and tall. With the inhalation, lift both the knees up, try to straighten up your spine as you do so, tightening up your entire pelvic floor, breathe out, bring the knees down, one, two, two, three, 
three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen. Lift your legs up, release your hand, push the knees together first and then stretch the legs in the front. And now, gently lie on your back. As you lie on your back, hand stays by the side of your body. Observe the influence of the practice within your body. We are going to move into the third yoga asana, double leg raise, for which if you have a strong abdomen, interlock your fingers and you can place them on back of your head. And if you are not very sure about the conditioning of your abdomen and your back, then you can also place your hands by the side of your body. Choose the variation that is most appropriate for you today. Both the feet are sticking to each other. Your chin is coming a little closer towards your ribcage. Inhale and raise both the legs up without bending your knees. As you lift your legs up, initially the toes might be pointed up. Then you can try to keep your both the feet flat on the ceiling. One down. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven. Eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve. Keep the hands interlocked underneath your head. Take a couple of breaths and we are going to do a simple variation of the practice. Inhale and lift your legs up again. Now that you have lifted your legs up, you can spread your legs apart. Based on how much space you have, you are spreading the legs. Bring the legs together and then lower the legs down. One, two, Spread the legs about half a meter. Bring the legs together. Down two. Three. Spread the legs. Three. Down. Four. Spread together down five spread together down six spread together and down. Release your hands. Awareness of the body from head to toe.
complete surrender of the body to the mat. Bring your awareness to your abdominal space and watch the expansion of the prana from your Manipur chakra to the rest of the body. Following this particular exhalation, turn on your abdomen and please come into the rabbit pose. We are going to do a beautiful dynamic movement called rabbit to cobra. So as you are staying in this posture, what you have to do as you will inhale, you will slide your upper body in between your arms and you will come into the cobra and you will turn your head with the exhalation. With the inhalation, you will come to the center. As you exhale, you will go back. Two. And now turning the head to the opposite side, to the left, and you are trying to look at the right heel, coming to the center, head down and slide back. Three, over the right shoulder, looking at the left heel, center, down and back. Four, over the left shoulder, down and back, five, over the right, center, come down and slide back, six, over the left, look back, center, down and slide back. Seven over the right, center, down and back. Eight over the left shoulder, center, bring the head down towards the floor and then slide back. 9 over the right, center, bring the head down as close as possible and slide back. Last repetition, 10. Going over the left shoulder, looking at the right heel, come to the center, bringing the head down and roll back into the rabbit. Now rest in the rabbit pose. Allow your breath to come back into a normal rhythm. Explore what you are experiencing within the physical dimension. Maybe the body is becoming more warm. There can be a lightness. And every other subtle manifestation of prana that is taking place within your physical dimension, acknowledge them. Now from this rabbit pose, we are going to slide forward and come into the plank pose. We are going to do the down plank. While performing the plank pose, keep the head, neck, spine, hips and legs if possible in one single straight line. Jaws are not tight, a happy facial expression. Avoid holding your breath. Try to tuck your abdomen in. You can even perform a mild mulband, contraction of your perineum. We are going to hold this posture for about 20-30 seconds. And as you will develop 
the stamina, the endurance, you can increase the holding of this posture to a minute to two minutes. But today here we are not doing for too long, just enough to enhance the functioning of the Manipur Chakra and the Urja to spread. And we are going to rest a little in the rabbit pose, bringing the knees down, hips going on the heels, forehead down. Few slow deep breaths. And now prepare yourself to do the side plank. Coming again into the plank and then balancing the weight on one arm and resting the other arm on top of the leg. Now when you are in the plank pose, try not to drop the midsection of the body down towards the mat. Keep the abdomen, hips and your trunk engaged. Look in the front, jaws are soft. Try to breathe slow and deep. Again, we are going to hold this posture for about 30 seconds. Continue to breathe and remember it needs practice to build the stamina. So by any chance if you are not able to hold it for long, there is no reason to feel demoralized and we can always get back to the practice to enhance our ability. And for today this is enough and we are gonna change the side. Making sure that you have lifted the hips up, the arm on the top is nicely stretched over the leg, the one feet is on top of the other, quite engaged, head is not dropping. Final position, you are again working on your breath, steadiness and even in the steadiness there is a component of presence. Very often when we are in a challenging situation, our mind leaves the moment. Let not that happen now as you are practicing. And in few moments you can come back. Resting in the plank pose and then bringing the knees down and hips back on the heels. Take a few moments to rest in the rabbit pose, relax the shoulders, the arms, the forehead. Now please lift your body into the thunderbolt pose, the Vajrasana. We are going to do a simple stretch for the neck just to ensure that we haven't accumulated any tension on the neck. So placing your right hand from on top of the head and pulling the right ear towards the right shoulder. Take a few slow easy breaths. And you rest now with the left arm, pull the head to the left side. Mindful breathing. While you do the posture, try not to lift the shoulder up. Both the shoulders are pretty soft, drop down. Coming to the center and one more round of practice.
and change Now come to a resting position, both the hands in mudra as you are staying in the Vajrasana, the Thunderbolt pose. Bring your awareness within your body, explore the inner space within your head, within your heart, within your abdominal space. Take a close look at your body, at your mind, at your emotion and try to identify what are you sensing as an outcome of all the practices you have done today. And take a moment to see yourself healthy, vibrant, joyful. And at your own time, please end the practice. Thank you. Namaste.